Hello, it's Laura Gathers with Love Heart and Marriage Coaching, bringing you wisdom for wives in five. This is where we take five minutes or less and dig into the Word of God, searching for nuggets that we can apply to our lives as wives. Today, ladies, I want to take time to encourage you to run your own race. That's why. Right. Stay in your lane. Do not focus on what other people are doing around you, but focus on what it is that God has called you to do in your marriage and in your life. I want to uh, tell you about a recent activity or a recent event that I had. And um, during this event, I had an opportunity to ask the participants, what is it that you gained from this experience? And one of the ladies pretty much said, run your own race. She had watched the people before her complete an obstacle course. And so she had memorized what it was she was supposed to do. What she did not know was that her husband was going to receive an instruction card and she was going to have to maneuver through that obstacle course completely different than the person in front of her. So when she was blindfolded and her husband began to tell her how to maneuver through the course, she was like, oh, no, that's not what they did in front of me. So she was held reluctant and hesitant and did not want to move forward. And then she had to eventually trust her husband. And that happens to us. We get so caught up in what everyone is doing around us that we think that we have to handle the situations that we face in our marriage and in our life the same way as such and such. Well, she did X, Y, and Z, and it worked for her, so it has to work for me. And that's not always the case. Now, we do need to hearken to wisdom. There are people who can tell us things to help us prevent a lot of the challenges that we face. But when we have to run our race, when we have to get through those obstacles, guess what? We are going to have to do it in a way that we are equipped and prepared to do it. Because you do not want to become disqualified because you chose to run a race that you did not or were not prepared for. Now, I want to tell you why it's important for you to run your own race. The first point is I don't want you to become disqualified. You can't just enter into a race. Have you ever been to a track meet where they have lanes assigned? And if you just enter into a race that you have not been assigned a lane, you will become disqualified. And you don't want that to happen. God has a specific purpose for you in your marriage. He has a specific plan for your life. And when you start running your life based off how someone else is running theirs, you're not going to obtain the goals that God has for you. You will become disqualified. The second reason is you are not prepared to run the same race as someone else. You may be a sprinter and they may be a long distance runner. And here you are trying to run 10 miles when you are used to running 100 meters. Your body is not prepared to run that race. God has equipped you. He has fearfully and wonderfully made you. And in fearfully and wonderfully making you, he has prepared you to, to be able to go through obstacles, but a different way than someone else. So you, you can win the 100 meter dash, but you not, may not win that 10 miler because you're not equipped and prepared to run that race. And that is okay. And lastly, you won't have a lane to run in. Like I stated before, everyone is assigned lanes at a track meet. And if you enter into a lane, you're going to get in someone's way. So if you start trying to run your race like someone else, not only will you become disqualified, but you're going to get in the way of someone else who should be running that race. And you do not want to become a hindrance in anyone's life. All because you wanted to run a race that God hasn't called you to run. So ladies, I pray that you are confident in who God has created you to be. I pray that you would focus on running your race and focus on equipping your heart and, and preparing for your marriage the way that God has designed it. Yes, take wisdom, get guidance, seek counsel, but take that counsel and ask the Lord to show you how to use it in a way that's going to benefit you, in a way that's going to help you run the race so that you can obtain the prize that God has for you. This is Laura Gathers with Love Harder Marriage Coaching, encouraging you to run your race. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Instagram, and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Be blessed.